guys and welcome to my channel and today we are furnishing that build that you just saw on um, last week last week all right I'm trying I'm trying to get back into the habit of uploading at least once a week I'm gonna try and get back up to three times a week um, right now with my work schedule it's kind of all over the place especially for the holidays so hopefully we can really like get back into it and get back into what I really like started this for was to like have fun and make videos and all sorts of stuff and I got um D a discover university let's play coming up I got one last episode of strangerville to push out um so once that's out though then it's just gonna be discover university probably from here on out I still have all the other save files from all everything else um but discover university is probably gonna be the only thing I'm gonna be doing for a little while just to kind of like get back into the groove of recording editing and plus I'm still uh, I'm streaming uh, three nights a week as well so um, if you're missing listening to me talk I guess <laughs> you can always come chill on our uh, twitch uh, channel which is linked down below so if you are interested you can always come just chill with us we usually play the sims um, and this build right here that we're furnishing um, and the shell that went with it um, and I'll have the shell link down below in case you didn't see it you can go check it out um, but building the shell of this and furnishing it and everything I actually I'm playing with this build on twitch right now and because um, we have a discover university thing going there too and um, we have a pair of girls that we have going to university right now so a lot of color schemes end up getting changed. There's so much stuff that ends up changing. Like I didn't realize like how much I'd put in and how much I changed, how much I didn't like, how much I wanted it just to look different. I try to use as many different university items as is possible to kind of really showcase the pack. Um, we also have it affiliated with Brightchester. But the good news is, is I didn't really do like a lot of wall stuff. So realistically, it's just like the small decorations and stuff. That's really all Brightchester. So if you wanted to use it for Foxberry, you always could. Um, I don't know how many people are really going to be using it. Um, but because there's also no trash cans. I didn't even think about it. Like when I made the build, I didn't even, I totally spaced trash cans. And then I don't know if I, I think I addressed this in the last, um, <laughs> in the last speed build that, um, I kind of didn't realize it was a, that the lot I wanted to put it on was a 50 by 40 and not a 40 by 30. So this lot's really awkwardly sized for university itself. Um, but otherwise, I've used the entire lot. The entire lot is usable. It's um, I've been playing with it the entire time. I do end up taking out the 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 stalled showers in the bathroom because I was finding my Sims weren't using them, and then on top of that. Um, if the sims use them they'd be embarrassed so i was over it i mean granted they get embarrassed using these ones too but at least it makes a little bit more sense i, I don't know if it's because of i don't know my game is glitching with discover university i don't know about you guys um if you're having any glitches leave it down below because i'm kind of interested here i'm kind of interested to know um what y'all are experiencing and dealing with and all that good stuff so um but I've been having this glitch where it's kind of just, um, where it's kind of, it, I don't know what happened. I don't know where it happened. I don't know when it happened. Um, but the, the game suddenly started seeing them as roommates and not as university students. And I'm really confused what happened, where it happened. And how it happened. So I think this is just strictly a Discover University feature bug, whatever. And um, I mean, otherwise, my students can still use it for university. They do get charged bills, but that happened at a um, at the the Drake Commons or something, or the Drake Hall, whatever it is. Um, I got bills there too. I'm just cheating my money back in because I'm like, no, they didn't. They're not paying for the entire bill. Like they're just doing this. And I don't know if that was an accident or what, but I've been experiencing it for a, quite some time with that one. That's 
I think that's one bug that's driving me the most insane is knowing I have to cheat that money back in. Like, it's taking, because um, I also have UI Cheats and MC Command Center. Those are the two main mods I end up using. Um, but in there, there is a option to have the bills paid automatically. And that's the problem I'm starting to run into is that it's automatically withdrawing the money from my account. But I mean, the good news is with UI Cheats extension, I can just click on it, type that money back in, and then um, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, I do end up adding quite a bit of clutter into here. Um, probably more than what was probably necessary because I didn't realize that other students would bring clutter, which is very interesting. I didn't know that. Um, but I thought it was quite interesting. But um, so these are kind of like vending machines that I kind of put in there. They don't work as vending machines, by the way. So that's probably about the only thing that doesn't really quote unquote work. Um, and then also I tried changing them out for a different quote unquote vending machine. Uh, but none of them are true vending machines. So it makes me really sad we didn't get an actual vending machine with The Sims for Discover University. I really would have thought, like, that would have been a great place to bring it in, too. I mean, I'm not saying they can't bring it in at a future time. But it would have been nice to have an actual vending machine. One that you could get, like, sodas, candy, chips, you know, that kind of stuff. This is kind of like a little rec room here, though. So there is a microwave here for your Sims, and there's spots in every single room for you to be able to have uh, a mini fridge, if you feel so inclined. Um, but there's lots of places to study. There's lots of different places to like get your pr presentations done. Um, we did the room a little bit ago, but it's the one across the hall from the one we're doing now where it's got like the green and yellow beds. That's the one I actually have my Sims staying in. Like that's the dorm they're actually staying in. Um, but the world did automatically populate everybody for it and everything. So it's really nice. It's nice. It's full. There's lots of students always wandering around. There's always somebody somewhere, which is really nice. Um, but I kind of designed this one so it's kind of like a little bit of everything on the lot. It is classified as university housing, so there is that. And then there's kind of like a gym off to the other side, um, which we will get into. Like, we're barely even, like, what, halfway through this build now? <laughs> I have so much footage from building this. I didn't even realize it took this long. I really, if I would have known that, I would have pushed the shell off a little bit. And I would have um, added some more footage into there, but I didn't realize how much footage there was. I mean, when I first put everything together, it was like three and a half hours. And I'm like, uh, I don't got that kind of time. <laughs> so I, of course it's all sped up. So it originally started, I think at like 24 minutes or something. So we're down to 16, almost 17 minutes. So that's not bad at all. Um, maybe I may, I might end up cutting out a little bit more. I'm not quite sure. I, I usually do it based on like how many pauses there are and that kind of stuff. Um, and in fact, we're actually like two thirds of the way done with the build because the tour took like five minutes, five to six minutes. I'm like, what the? I mean, well, it is kind of a beast of a build. So I did speed up the um, tour just a little bit. It's not a lot. It's just a little bit. Um, but it's just enough to kind of get it moving because it's such a big build and we have already so much to talk about as it is. Uh, but there's like a little commons area here. Oh, by the way, I could have swore, I could have swore that, um, I mean, unless it's specific lot traits, only, unless it's that spit like that, a uh, student hangout thing or whatever. Um, I could have swore they said that if you put like a cafeteria on your lot that it'll be free for students to eat but I've only gotten them to eat free like once so I don't know what's happening or where it is or what time it has to be I don't know if it's supposed to be like during the weekend or whatever um, but you know it's it's whatever <laughs> yeah here's where I'm taking some pictures of the build um, but here is the last section of building, which I did while I was talking to somebody on Discord. So there, there's a couple of sections where it's kind of like all slow and stuff. But anyway, I kind of rearranged the bathroom here because I kind of wanted it to look kind of like a locker room shower type thing. Because, I mean, students would bring their clothing, but they don't want it stolen. So they want to put it in lockers and having benches in there is like really convenient because I mean, I'm... I know Sims can get dressed by just turning around, but people cannot do that. So there's little benches in there for your Sims to sit at. Um, 
But, uh... I freaking, I do love this build. It's so big. It's so nice. I have kind of adjusted it for the 50 by 40 lot because I did want my Sims to live in Brightchester. So they do live there. It's kind of awkward. I'm going to have to kind of fix it. I might see about doing like a, like another speed build video where I'm kind of fixing it. So this way it can kind of be on a, be on the 50 by 40 lot. Because again, if I would have realized that it was that size, I would have stopped what I was doing and I would have fixed it right then and there, but I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it until like halfway through the second part here. And I was like, oh crap. <laughs> I was so sad when I discovered it. I was so sad. I'm like, oh no, what have I done? This fits perfectly. Um, <laughs> but there's lots of like greens and yellows throughout the build, by the way. And... Um, I did this this way, it really represents that uh, Brightchester vibe. Um, and that's the reason why I chose the old stones on the outside too, is because I kind of wanted it to feel kind of like an older building. I tried to make it fit in. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Don't at me. There we go, that's what I'm going for. Um, it actually like makes it look really good because it, when it's uploaded to the gallery, you see the back side of the dorms. And there's those little, that balcony and that porch. And so I'm like, cool. <laughs> kind of fakes you out, you know, a little bit. Until you see the whole thing. Um, there is laundry on the lot. So just keep that in mind that your Sims, um, you can take all that out and you can replace that room if you want to, along with all the laundry baskets and stuff. Uh, but I thought it kind of was like a, ne a neat added challenge to the build was that there is laundry on site. And so, um, there's just a little laundry room down there. And if you have clean Sims, if you have like clean roommates, then they will be, they will actually go through and do some of the laundry. I don't think they'll, I don't think the autonomous will like grab everyone's laundry. Um, but you can grab some, they will grab some of the laundry and they will take it and they'll put it in the washer and into the dryer and everything. Cause like I said, I've been playing in this build for, I don't know what's today. <laughs> Uh, two weeks now, two, three weeks, so. Like, I don't even know what today is. I'm staring at my calendar, but I don't know what day it is. Like, I need to start crossing the days off. This way I actually know what day of the week it actually is. Um, but anyway, so we're going right here into the tour. Like I said, I sped it up a little bit, so it seems a little faster than usual. That's why. Um, but they each have, like, little signs, too. I thought it was really nifty. Like, there's the coffee for, like, where the cafeteria is. Um, here's this little area out back. Where it's got kind of like the, it's got the keg, it's got like a little picnic table. Um, I think this one's got like a couch on it or something, a little sign. And then the other one, I can't remember what it was. It was, it was something cool. Um, but we'll go, we'll take a look at every dorm. Just so you can kind of see like how different they are from each other. Like I tried to at least make them a little bit different. I'm actually a big fan of the wallpaper and the carpet they put in there. It like fits perfectly for like dorms and stuff. Um, I remember hearing another simmer say that it would be like perfect for like doctor's offices and stuff and I'm like oh, That's genius. This would be perfect for like get to work and stuff. So if you wanted to remake over that um, build um, So here's the porch. Um, I know it's not like a real fence like it's not really tall enough to keep anybody in Honestly, it's not like anybody goes out there anyway uh, But here is the multi showers over here with our little benches and lockers and stuff and don't forget we put that little piece of um decor around the corner there uh, but here is another one of the dorms this is the second dorm downstairs um, this one's a little bit green so if you wanted to do foxberry you might have to change like the color scheme in this room by the way this is the only room that's the only room that has curtains i'm not even lying oh and i did put railings in before i uploaded it to the gallery i didn't realize i had forgotten railings too uh, but that's kind of like the little like uh dining area this is the room that i have my sim staying in and then um by the way, and then this is a single bedroom room here, a single bedroom dorm. And then there's a little seated area there, which the Sims do sit down at. It's really cool. Um, here's another single bed dorm. And then I guess she had opened the door. Um, but this is um, this is the dorm across the hallway. And then there is a little like rec room in here where it's got a TV, microwave, coffee, all that kind of stuff. Um, Surprisingly, my Sims did not autonomously make coffee all the time. They do still from time to time, but it's not all the time, which is really nice because I don't drink coffee all the time. But, uh, 
it is kind of nice to have from time to time. And then zoom right across the way. We're going to go to this one, which has a ping pong table in it. Uh, fully functional, even in its tiny little location. Um, here's the laundry room with a little arcade machine. I had my sim throw some laundry in, then went to the arcade machine and put a couple of quarters in, played a little bit, and then uh, moved the laundry from the washer to the dryer. It was really cool. I'm actually really happy with how functional this build came out. And then uh, here's the upstairs. This has the little gym area up here. And then there's also another bathroom and shower up here. And I realized I kind of messed up that window because I wasn't expecting the wall to move, but it did. So um, here's another little shower area. Because of course your Sims went to the gym. They need a shower. Because I, I almost want this treated almost as if it's like three separate buildings. But they just happen to be on the same lot. So. And then I realized this is the only building, by the way, that does not have a bathroom. And again, there is railings put on all the stairs before I uploaded it. But this is kind of like a little library area. And then we have the little cafeteria over here. So they can kind of just come in, grab food, sit down at the tables. They don't sit down at these tables. I'm not really quite sure why. They don't have that preference. I kind of wish that they did. Do we go upstairs? Do we not go upstairs? Oh, but upstairs is like the robotics table and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. So thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. Definitely leave your comments, feedback, and suggestions all down below. Um, all my social media is in that description box, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And we're live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I could love it if you guys could stop in sometime. And of course, as always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. This way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.